In this video, we will take you on a small tour of Metro Exodus with NVIDIA RTX and Microsoft DXR support on board. In our previous video, we broke down the RTGI technology in detail, how it works in the game and what the difference between the ray traced and standard global illumination in-game. The Metro game series is known for deep story and immersion, as well as top-end visuals that push the best hardware as much as possible. And whereas this story may be completely invented and inspired by the books of Dmitry Glukhovsky, the game world and its content are almost entirely composed of real-world existing locations, objects, weapons and clothing, supplemented by physically correct visual effects and, of course, lighting. The creation of realistic, believable-looking world was the goal that brought us to work with NVIDIA and implement RTGI technology in Metro Exodus. Since our first public display at GTC 2018, engineers and artists at 4A Games and NVIDIA have continued to work on improving and optimizing the technology to make ray trace global illumination accessible in real time for PC gamers on consumer hardware that is now available. Last time, many of you noticed the difference in performance between RTX on and RTX off. At this moment, having the exact same hardware configuration, we almost equalized the frame rate in both modes on the RTX family video cards and implemented NVIDIA's unique DLSS Deep Learning Super Sample technology, which uses more accurate anti-aliasing and speeds up performance without affecting your experience otherwise. We think that Metro Exodus looks really great on its own, but RTGI provides a unique, natural feeling to the experience as realistic as possible were you to visit these areas in real life. Whether you choose to run the game with RTGI off for a more classic game look or with RTGI on for a more realistic and cinema style look, Metro Exodus will still be stunning and believable. But with Ray Trace GI together with accurate dynamic occlusion, you will have a chance to see something new, where the sun casts believable sunlight and not just a direct light, where places without lighting will be really dark and scary, covering someone in shadows, and where you will probably prefer wait till morning near the campfire instead of going hunting at night, and may even be genuinely relieved to see the sunrise, and many other scenarios which we never seen before in real-time rendering in any other game. We've already started our journey and we hope that you will be really surprised with it. See you in a wasteland, Spartan!